Good morning, it's Friday, October 6th, about 6 a.m. Central Time. Overnight, the precious metals are stronger after yesterday's consolidating session. You got gold up $4, 1836. Silver up 24 cents, 2126. Copper's up four at 359, and platinum's up two at 865. So the US dollar has been losing some of its upside momentum as well as treasury yields. You've got gold and silver. They're beginning to consolidate and look to form a bottom. A little bit better action in the silver market, well, also in the copper market. Looking at platinum continuing to slide lower, we're going to need some catalysts in order to bring that market back up. Analysts are starting to look forward into 2024, and they're starting to make some bold predictions. They really believe that the Federal Reserve is going to have to backpedal on some of these aggressive interest rate hikes that they've seen. And most at most analysts are beginning to believe that bonds will be one of the best performing asset classes for the first half of 2024. That will roll over into the gold market as well. So you'll see gold and bonds. We're going to have to look at some historical data, see what happened in those years where they led the charge at the beginning of the year. So looking ahead at some things to watch, it's one of my favorite days. You got non-farm payrolls. They're expecting 171,000. The unemployment rate at 3.7%. If we get anything like the ADP number, which was 89,000, you're going to see a big material jump, especially in the precious metals markets. You're going to see the rug pulled out in the dollar. The key level to watch on the dollar is that 105.36. That was last Friday's low once the core PCE number came out, a little bit softer than expected. The dollar did build back all of its losses on that particular day. And that's where the rug was pulled out on the gold and silver market. So looking at your key levels of support here, the current trend right now, still bearish on gold and silver, but the trend reversal points are starting to come down. On the gold market, it's 1924, the 200-day moving average still at 1981. What's nice to see is those key levels of support rising out of those 1798s. We don't want to see any of those 17 handles. So the first level support, $1,800, second 1811, third 1824, about $13 lower from where we're here. The resistance points on the gold market are all consistent consolidating in the 1840s to low 1850s. So 1841, 1847, and 1854 are your key levels of resistance. It's also nice to see on the silver market, although the trend reversal point 2332, we've got a lot of people they've been calling in, especially the last couple days here with silver dipping below that 21 level. They really want to buy at these kind of uh, levels for long-term positioning. I think the crude oil market for the March contract and also the March silver are two plays that'll set you up in the long run to consider for your account. Remember, crude oil is one of the best gauges of inflation. If not, it is the gauge of inflation. Food and energy, in my opinion, are the most paramount uh, components of inflation. So why not own an asset class like crude oil in these 70s as you go out into March? Now, looking at the Critical levels here on silver, 2140, 2169, and 2197 are all your resistance points. Your support, 2003, so back above that 19 handle, we don't want to see that, 2039 and 2076. So the outside markets are stronger. They're all looking to form a bottom. You got the S&P back over 4,300. The U.S. dollar index up only four at 106. Crude oil is up 11 cents at 82.42. Treasury yields, they're starting to consolidate after hitting some unprecedented levels. Up three at 474. So we want to see a miss in the non-farm payroll number. And then also the unemployment rate, they're expecting 3.7%. We really want to see it come in at 3.8 if you're a long-term bull on some of these precious metals or you want to see a snap back. If we do get higher numbers, though, some kind of unexpected blow away, they're going to pull the rug out on this stuff. So stay nimble, stay defensive. You get the pop, take a little off. Got any questions, give me a call, 312-858-7303. Remember, futures option trading involves risk of loss. May not be suitable to all investors. Good luck and good trading.